I'm Exothermic and I play Assault and Heavies for Steel Jaguar EU. Hi, I'm Harry78. I'm the drop commander for the EU team of Steel Jaguars and I'm an officer in Steel Jaguar. This is Frostpin Dragon. I'm a primary light and assault pilot for SJR. So this is the 700 ton drop deck. We decided again to bias the Ilias pretty heavily uh, because it was heavy enough that we're going to see a lot of heavies or, or assaults. But we wanted that firepower to bring down their, the, the most firepower they've got on their team as quickly as possible and then play a clear up job of clearing up their mediums and lights. So we biased the Muramets and, and of course the one Highlander's got the UAC-5s as well. And what's the, the goal with the Centurions? Centurions um, provide a lot of tactical versatility. You've got speed on them so they can respond to any threats on your base. They're extremely good at bringing down heavy mechs because of the SRMs on them. And they're like a tank in terms of having to take them down. They've got a really small CT. So everyone, everyone knows these days you've got to take out the legs on a Centurion. And it's a lot more armor to get through than should most other mechs taking out their CT. We dropped the Raven 3L for this match in exchange for some more weight with the extra Muro Mets. And we also have the Sense now, because I think uh, the last match we realized that we need to have some kind of screen in between our range, and the Sense do an excellent job of that. Dropping the, the Raven again is, is also partly to do with the game plan. We're not planning here to get stuck in for a long time. We haven't got lots of sniper mechs to do that. Given the previous match that we played against them, where they kind of biased the heavier mechs for the assault, the atlases and things, is, do you come into this match now thinking that they're going to be biasing the same sort of mechs, or, or do you just take a, a completely fresh approach to the tactics of it? I, I really make no assumptions uh, when we're going into it. I, what I tend to do is I think about a drop deck, I think about the kind of weight we're going to be coming against. And I, I'm coming up with a drop deck that I think has got the least counters. And so I can't really predict what they're going to do. They might do something completely different. We tend to change things up quite often. So uh, although we don't, this one's fairly similar to the last one, just lighter. We change things up enough that I, I can't really predict that they're going to take the same thing again. Yes. I need you to keep eyes on it. I need to start heading towards that way, guys. So SJR here makes a quick push over towards the dropship and the ridge, um, basically using our scouts to shoot off ahead and find out where they're going and, and responding based on that. With a map this size, it's really easy from the scouts roll. You run to the middle, you get a good jump, and you can usually see where they're going, what they're doing. UAV if you can. UAV. We're aware from our lights that Antares uh, Scorpions have sent a force through the cave. The UAVs let us know that they've got part of their force right there in an optimum range for us, so we just take the advantage. And so we've not really worked out what their composition is other than to put up the UAV and see their position. So you're happy to push in at this stage regardless of what they will have just because of the position that they're in? Yes, is that right? absolutely. Their force is split up. We're in optimum range regardless of whether they're going to be in optimum range. We might as well take this opportunity. Once the field lights up, you realize how close they are to the ridge. We're set to come over the top, engage, get in their face. Right afterwards, those Ilias are able to crest, lay down massive amounts of fire, and the focus fire begins. We're not strict on focus fire when it's UACs, because if you're not hitting the focus target, you're rocking the torso of another target that should be shooting at someone else anyway. Here you can see how quickly, during this meter, the heavy mechs were going down with the UACs. Once we'd taken down the heavies, yeah, we knew the sense were going to be on us pretty quick. So that's when we respond and prepare for that. Before before trying to take out the lights, you, you're always going to take out the mediums faster than the lights. And they've got more firepower to take out the heavy stuff. Their centurions out of place allowed our murrows to have free reign. They were just able to focus uninhibited firing lanes and just burn people down. Lights, Charlie. Okay, leave, leave another leg. Good job. Uh, hotel's legs. Hotel's legs. Hotel's legs, guys. He's legged. Down. Take the spider. Up. Watch around the bar. He's dead. Well done. Good game. 
and now we're looking at the score screen at the end and, and we can see their mech disposition. Do you think that this is a case where our particular drop deck has an advantage over theirs? The biggest factor with the win there was the fact that we could take on part of their force while the other part was not involved. When you've got that situation, mech composition isn't the primary factor. Our drop deck was particularly good at taking down heavy stuff. So Antares Scorpion's got a really nice um, array of mechs that are strong in this current meter. I wouldn't say there's a mech there that um, I wouldn't take. They're, they're good mechs, but their heavy stuff is being brought down so quickly with the Muramets. And again, in this build, they've, they've bought a spider. Now, you mentioned that there was no, no mech that they had that you wouldn't consider running. I mean, would you consider taking a spider and saving a bit of tonnage and adding it elsewhere? We don't take the spider. I mean, we see how good the spider can be later in one of the later games um, because they are just they are so hard to take down that that is their primary role. But and, and and we can see how good that can be for delaying a cap or something like that. We don't we don't tend to take it ourselves. We we take lights that we feel are going to take help us take down the heavy firepower quickly.